Hey, how's it going? I was talking to Rocket's daughter Arlette today, and I asked her, what do you think about Father's Day? And she says, I'm not going to get you anything. And I started laughing. I said, you know, that's not what I wanted to know. It wasn't my objective. I wanted to know what are your feelings, what's your opinion of Father's Day? And she said, congratulations, you knocked somebody up. Now, judging by that response, you may think that she doesn't have a very good relationship with her father, and that's probably a story for another time. But I thought it was kind of funny because I don't do holidays much. I don't think much of them. I don't, don't need them. But in Father's Day, I feel pretty much the way, same way that the thug does. That's, a, that's our let to handle his internet thug. Where if being a father, i.e., knocking somebody up is your main claim to fame then you really don't have a whole lot going on now this is my own opinion i think this about myself okay and i don't put my values or my judgments on any other people this is just my own standard for myself and i'm much more concerned with how did i do the job when i was a father back when my kid lived with me I would say, by my own estimation, I was not a very good father. I had a couple things right. There's a lot of things that I've learned since then that I would do very differently. The thing is, when you're a father, you've got a few main jobs. Number one is teaching them how to have values, the proper values to have, and, you know, in integrity and honesty and loyalty and courage all these things that a person's got to have and then there's the other things that they have to know about how to develop their own character and and how they're going to interact with other people and so on and all of these things are very important and from my personal point of view i think that father's day is a great day out of the year not to sit back and say oh look at me I'm so great because I'm a dad but to take some time for yourself when no one else is around and you're the only one thinking about it and you're digging deep into yourself and taking a good hard look at who you are and how you're doing as a father and you want to judge how you're teaching your children these things and what you could do better in the following year basically it's a year in review for yourself as a father now if you have a hard time looking deep into yourself and judging yourself and, and making decisions on what you could do better and what you've done well then you might not want to listen to this next part because the next one's a real biggie and that's providing for your family now, I don't know about you, but this is one of the most important things to me because if a child doesn't have, you know, good food and good clothes and a nice safe place to live and a good education and the tools to make that education the best it can be, those are very important and, and it underlies everything else of the whole, the whole thing. So, if you're the type that's always looking for a way to do better as far as providing for your family, and you don't think maybe you're doing quite enough, and you know you could do better, but you just don't know what to do, then look me up. I'm going to put a, a link either to an email or to a text. You can shoot me a message. And... Let me know because I've got something that may be exactly what you're looking for. That's what I got for you today. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.